Hi folks, this is uh, Chuck Mott, and I just wanted to kind of lay out this, uh, the way I've got this track arranged. This, uh, this is a song called Sundown by Gordon Lightfoot. Um, if you play the song kind of like with the parts the way it's, it's intended to be played, um, there's three different dis, uh, distinct parts on this. There's the, um, I want to call what the intro and the part that the lead guitar is going to be playing over is going to go something like this, right? It's just all staying on G. So there's the one part that's just sort of kind of vamping, for a lack of better uh, of a better word, on G. Um, there's the verse part, and the verse part goes like this. See you lying back in the sand in a room where you do what you don't confess. Right? That's the verse part. Uh, and then there's a third part, uh, the chorus. Um, so this is uh, this is the chorus. The, the chorus part, it kind of, you know, repeats this as it goes through the chorus, for lack of a better word. I don't know how, it'll, how else to explain it to you, but it kind of pretty much stays the same. Sometimes you better take care if I find you been creeping around my back stairs. Right, so three distinct parts for this song, um, and the way that I've got this set up, and I would I'll refer to you to co um, put in like verse, bridge, chorus set up, and look at like John Paul's video for example, and he kind of uh, details this for you pretty well. Um, but I wanted to kind of go through um, what I've got here going on. So um, what I first have to do. And I, I, I'm not really in the position to show you what I'm doing, so um, all I can really do is just explain it to you. Um, you're going to hit the memory button. You are going to scroll over to play. You're going to click on play. You're going to see the option uh, where it says play mode. Um, you want to push the button again and go down to where it says multi and flip that over to single. Um, and uh, for lack of a... Um, you know, you also want to go ahead and um, return. Go to that. Go over into loop one. Push uh, where it says um, track one, and you want to make sure that that is. Uh, you'll see reverse. You'll scroll again. Like loop effects on one shot on or off level, uh, pan center start immediate. What well, you want that in there, but that's the default anyway. Um, but you, what you do want to do is go ahead and turn lip sync off. Uh, lip sync loop sync off um, because if you don't do that it's going to start it randomly start it wherever um, in the measure you want you want it starting from the beginning so you don't want loop sync on and that's the reason that you don't want loop sync on so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all that I'm gonna set that up on track one um, and track one on uh, memory 43 it's memory 43 that I'm doing this on just uh, and the only part that's going to go on track one is this that first part that we talked about right okay um, the other thing I might want to note also is that I've got a uh, I've got an FS7B down here so I'm able to I've got it set up to switch between tracks I'm going from track uh, 43, 43 to 44, and I'll get back to that in a minute. So I'm going to go over to um, I'm going to go over to track two now that I've got it set up as I've got the, um, it's also set up as single, right? Um, well, the memory is set up as single. Uh, my apologies. The memory is set up. You you hit memory. You go to play. You switch that over to single, um, and then you go to loop. Um, track one and then you switch that over to sync and you can record your first part um, you can do this you can do this live you can set this up to have this be able to do this live that's not how I have it set up this way um, but it is possible to do that you just need to go and make sure that track one is record play stop that's it not record play stop current not record no record track one record play stop track two report yeah, record play stop um and then you're going to go up to a whole other memory to play the third part which we'll get back into that in a second um 
So track one, record, play, stop. Track two, record, play, stop. Um, memory, um, you're, having, you're going to the play button, make sure it's set on single. And on both track one and track two, you're going to hit your, your track buttons and you're going to um, scroll over to where it says loop sync and turn that off. Pretty simple. That's that's how you uh, essentially how you set that up, and for any two part song, now you've got uh, the ability to record two parts on just on memory forty three. So that would work for your two part songs, right? Just just sticking to the one one memory, which is kind of cool. And I'm gonna actually migrate a lot of my um, other stuff to be like kind of like live loopable that way for my two tracks, some of my two track songs. Um, my opinion, my opinion only, it's just kind of, um, it's a little bit tedious, not, not even necessarily from my, uh, viewpoint from, but maybe from the audience's viewpoint to sit there and watch you kind of like create three different track parts. Um, depends on the song, depends on you, I guess, depends on what you're, on what you think about that. I don't like to, if I'm going to do something that's three parts, at least for where I'm at right now, I'm going to go ahead and set that up ahead of time. So I'm not really live looping this, although you could live loop this just by kind of leaving the settings the way that I had talked about, which is just, um, you know, <clears throat> um, again, the, the key points, um, you want to hit memory, you want to scroll over play and hit single. And then for track one, um, you want to um, push the track one button and scroll over to loop sync on and turn it off. Track two, you want to go scroll over to loop sync on and then turn it off. Um, so now I have two parts. I have this. Right? And then this. Um, the other part. The verse part. Now, you're going to get into the chorus here. And... Um, Again, you want to set this ahead of time. I also want to mention that I've, I've got um, I've got the beat set up. Uh, I've got the beat set up ahead of time. Again, you could do that. You could set that beat up ahead of time, um, and still be able to like live loop this up with all three parts. But I've got the beat set up ahead of time to be simple beat four um, on memory uh, forty three. I have to go ahead and pre kind of set up track forty. Four, so that when I go up to track 44, I have the same kind of beat with maybe a variation um, set up. And really the variations, I, the only way I can figure out to do that is to not live loop it. So I have a variation, variation B, going on on track 44. So, I'll, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will um, scroll through, or I will go ahead and memory up with my FS7 button here, the way that I've got it set up. Um, and in, in track 44 on uh, loop A um, or loop 1 I will have the Come down you better take care of find you been creeping around my back stairs and uh, I've got again the drum loop set up ahead of time which is uh, simple beat 4 variation B um, and uh, oh, the the other thing I want to mention is I've got the drums um, set up on uh, to go through, so I'm not recording the loop. Um, that would be just kind of uh, going to the input button. I'm gonna try to talk through um, how I did all this. You're gonna set the rhythm up to go out. A, out A and B. I think that's the default anyway, rather than have it um, set to loop. If you set it to loop, it's going to record it to the track. Um, not necessarily what you want. Um, and the reason for that being is because um, it'll record it to the track and you'll get kind of like a double double beat sort of thing going on. I can't, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I'm not going to get into explaining why that is. Um, but you want that set up on, 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 um, on rhythm out a and B or rhythm out A or B. Um, I put it out on rhythm out A and B. Um, but I do not have it set to rhythm out loop. Uh, so anyway, so on track 43, on track A, um, 
And I'll, I'll just kind of go ahead and talk through, uh, again, real quick what I'm doing. I, I'm memory 43. I'm on memory 43. Pick whatever memory you want. You want two adjacent memories, maybe 44 and 45, 46, whatever. I have it set up on 43 in memory 43 and memory 44. Um, I hit the memory button. I scroll over to play. Hit the memory button, scroll over to play. Um, t um, turn multi into single and then I go to loop track one and I set it to um, to where the loop sync is off I go to track two I hit that button turn it over to where the loop sync is off um, and then I go and, and I'm saving the met the, the um, rhythm well, if you save the, you go ahead and save the rhythm ahead of time you can do that uh, by what I just, just save what rhythm comes up by just hitting save uh, with the rhythm button turned on. You want to make sure that your, uh, you know, rhythm is button is on for this. Otherwise, you're not going to hear any drums, and that would kind of suck and defeat the whole purpose. Um, so, anyway, uh, memory play single track one. Turn over to loop sync off and have that off. Turn track two. Turn over to loop sync and have that off. Go up to your next memory. Um, which for me is going to be 44. So I've got the parts set up on two different memories, 43 and 44. Um, so on track one, I've got this part on for a memory 43. And track one, I've got this part. Um, and on track two on memory 43, I've got this part. Room where you do what you don't confess. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and scroll up to memory 44. Um, and again, it may not seem like it matters, but it does. You want your loop sync turned off. Um, because when you hit memory A um, or, or um, track 1, rather, when you hit track 1, you want to just be able to super seamlessly go into. And now you better take care if you find you creeping around my back stairs. So I've got track, I've got, again, for, on track 44, I've also got the same rhythm set up and everything else, but I'm using a variation this time. Um, so, yeah, so that's about it. Um, and I am going to just say, so with, with, with that, I'm able to go ahead and let's see, let's go, uh, let's, let's scroll back down to, I've got the intro, which also doubles as the part for the guitar solo. Um, and I'll just kind of give you play. So, uh, this is the intro. It's also going to be the guitar solo part. So that's the intro and So you, you've got that um, all set up. Anyway, and uh, you have the verse part set up on, on track B. And then track 44, you've got the words, you've got the chorus set up. Um, and I, I can scroll up to it, and then I can hit track one play and play the uh, chorus, scroll back down uh, to 43. Go back to track one and and hit that button and play the intro part again and then back over to B for the verse part. So I'm doing a little bit of pedal dancing for this, but I'm going to go ahead and, and try to do um, the the song for you right now. Um, and let's uh, well, I'm I'm just going to kind of do some examples here. I'm not real kind of um, completely rehearsed on, on, on it because it, it takes some fairly good. Uh, re uh, wrote memory to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do this for you. Um, 
I can look down at my uh, at the RC500 and see the flashing lights and have a, a semblance of how to um, play an intro without any instrumentation going on. So just me and my guitar, right? And it, I'm looking at the count, and it's going something like um, one, two, three, four. So I can go. Switch to track two. Track two. Back to 43 and hit the button again. But I think you can see how that works. I'm not going to go ahead and go through the whole song here for you. I think this video has kind of gotten long enough. But that is it. That is my verse chorus um, version of sundown so um at the risk of uh repeating myself maybe too much um i'm going to go ahead and run through this again um i'm up on uh what i have set up right here is um is i'm on memories 43 and i'm also going to make use of memory 44. i have my drum loop set up ahead of time which is simple beat four um because i'm uh and even if I was live looping, I could do it the same way. Um, I could go up to 44 and set up. Um, not really, but it wouldn't be really be live looping, but at least you could kind of like record your guitar and bass parts if you really want to do that. Um, I don't really have, I don't really see the point, at least right now where I'm at. It's, it's already feeling kind of a little clunky for me anyway, but I also think it's kind of monotonous for the audience to watch you sit here and build three parts um together at least the way that i'm kind of envisioning it in my head anyway so um you're going to memory 43 you are going to go ahead and hit memory scroll over to the play button um and you're going to go down um to where it says multi and you're going to click on that and change that to single you're going to go over to um tr track one on memory 43 and you're going to scroll over you're going to hit the uh, track one scroll over turn link loop sync off um, go over to two, uh, track two turn loop sync off you're going to scroll up to memory 44 and again I have an SFS 7 so I can switch between tracks here uh, with the FS 7 and I'm going to go ahead and record the verse part on track one on memory 44 but with the same basic settings I'm already gonna have the loop set up to be um, the simple beat for with a variation I'm gonna have that turned on and saved um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just I can scroll up to it and then um, and again timing is kind of important but I can go at, I can scroll up to it and I can go ahead and hit play and play the chorus part that way when I'm done with the chorus scroll back down um, hit 43 and hit um, track one again and I'm back to the intro so that's essentially it Um, and let me see, shall I go back through it again? Eh, maybe we're already at 20 minutes. Why not? Uh, intro, uh, short, short ver version of, uh, everything, but here, here's the intro on track, on am 43, track one. It's just a vamping on the G. So I play that. Then I want to hit the verse, I'm going to go ahead and hit track two.
So, uh, but that's, uh, yeah, you might have heard a glitch there, but it's, um, that's, that's essentially how I've got it set up. So any questions, feel free to reach out and I will um, talk to you again soon. All right, feel free to like, subscribe. I'm going to keep doing these uh, RC500 videos um, until I get the RC600 someday. Uh, but for right now, I can, do, I, can, um, I can easily do three. Well, depends on what your version of easily is. You're going to have to practice it a little bit. But you can do three-part songs. Um, and just as a kind of a silly little reminder, if I wanted to do a fourth part, I could easily go up to memory 44 and add another part to... Um, um, track two and if i really wanted to go crazy which i don't think i'm going to do this for um very many songs i could also go up another track and add like parts five and six and so on and so forth you know so uh very cool um that's it like subscribe uh any questions hit me up and we will talk to you soon thanks